your own agenda. How could you, Mario? You murderer. Well, yeah, Sugar making a run right now. He just oh. beat uh, just beat a, a Richter main. I can't remember. T three dome. T three dome. Okay, yeah, yeah. And T three dome. And now he's playing against one of SoCal's finest, Razo. Here we go to game one on Stadium. You know, nah, this is going to be yeah. one of those awkward matchups for both characters, I feel like, because both characters want to be in the air, but I feel like Peach just, like, could get a lot more off of her straight hits than Yoshi can. Yeah, I think this is a difficult matchup for Yoshi because uh, uh, Peach really has the ability to wall Yoshi out. Yo most of Yoshi's ability to approach is going to be in the air. Like, he did get some better options in, on the ground, but... Um, you know, it's still, going, it's still going to be hard because Yoshi wants to hit you with those that pair and that and there. Um, right. And uh, Peach is able to pressure you pretty well and pretty safely. Right. And, and the other thing that's a, a really big part of the matchup is the float and you know, how you deal with that because, you know, you can kind of just, like, bob and weave in the air like, and has so much aerial control that most other characters just don't have. So it's going to be really hard for Yoshi to catch right. any sort of landing or any sort of approach option just because she just cancel her momentum instantly with flow. It doesn't matter so much that Yoshi has so much drift in this in this matchup because again, like you said, uh, Peach is able to control so much space. Right. And I honestly feel like uh, Turn Up is a better projectile than the Egg. Uh, so Yoshi can't really effectively go back and just chuck Eggs because Peach can just pull Turn Ups and uh, I mean, I feel like both projectiles are kind of similar in their function, but yet again, like, if you land an egg with Yoshi, like, what can you get? You might be able to get an air off of it, maybe, depending on how you space it, or fair. But if you're a Peach, you can get, like, the world is your oyster at that point, because you can get it to a grab, and once you get it in a grab, you get your combo into imagination. You know? So... Oh, he just got hit with that tipper up smash right there. And, and he's got a stitch, and yeah. Russell's got a stitch there. This you know how I said oh. it was imagination? Like, if he breaks that shield, that's going to be way more than a rainbow and sunshine. Yeah, that Yoshi will be seeing. He'll be seeing the stars. Peach's uh, combo tree, probably one of the most, if not the most, diverse in the game. Like you said, imagination. Right. Nice. Throwing out the counter out of the egg, knowing that most Lo Yoshi's like to come out and uh, with an aggressive option to punish coming out of the egg, but right. it's, it's not really a punish because uh, I mean you can bait you it out. Frames. Yeah. Uh, I, I think in that case, most Yoshi's try to rely on the lack of knowledge uh, with the egg. All right. Here we go. No, he's trying to find a stock, and he does it with, by catching that. Uh, the, the width side B into a back air. Back air, uh, actually a very good kill option from Yoshi. I think it got buffed between games. Right. Um, we use a lot. We saw Sugar actually land the first hit into up air for a kill confirm to end the game against Master Mario. And geez, that, that fair just hits so high. Yeah. It, it's it's an arc move, so like it, it's, it's basically the size of a moon, you know? He, he kind of goes like up, and above and down below and it's like when you like yawn and you stretch and you, go, and you like stretch to the skies and then like you like swing forward like that imagine that range except have a crown the size of like a, a, a like a good sized head and then like that's how much range it has yeah you know it's one of the coolest moves in the game uh, in terms of creativity right. I, because Peach and Daisy just they just reach up, they take off their crown, and then they yeah. <laughs> smack yeah. you with it. No, for the longest time, I didn't know they were smacking with the crown. I thought they were just smacking you with their hand. Yeah, kind of like like going for like a volleyball like spike, like you know? In smash. I'm just like, dang, Peach, like why is that so strong? Like, I, <laughs> like, like you must really have that upper body strength. But no, she's she's hitting you with the metal of her crown. Like, ooh, that, that thing must be made out of titanium for like how strong it is. Okay, yeah, so we so we do see a egg confirm off there from Yoshi getting the egg into the up air. Uh, so he, he can get a little bit, uh, but we saw him use it more to uh, aggressively kind of take space from Razo, and I, I feel like that's how you kind of need to use eggs in this matchup. Uh, you, you can't camp with them, but you can pressure Peach and, and just put the eggs where she wants to be. Right. 
And I love the choice to Battlefield, you know, it gives him a little bit more landing options, it gives him a little bit more space to, like, mix up how he's going to approach. And, you know, that's kind of the name of the game here is, like, how are you going to, you know, psych up your opponent to, like, make him whiff an attack so that you can punish it? Okay, yeah, I, I think we, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing from Sugar, he's trying to use these B-reverses and this, this egg, these egg throws to kind of mix up. Oh, I like that down B to grab ledge. But he's he's trying to mix up like how he's approaching and just kind of confuse Razo. Uh, it seems to be working for the moment. And I just love how well he's able to move and flow with his character, you know? When you're a character that has that much mobility, like you better be able to know how to perfectly uh, move that character, you know? Because that'll allow you to take a lot more stalks than like what normally should be. But I love that catching the turn up with the down air and getting a hefty punish off of it too. And that parry was so important too because if he did not parry that, that probably would have been a broken shield. Yes, and uh, it put Sugar in a terrible stop spot because he was he kind of stopped his momentum there. And wow, just oh. both players just swinging for the fences right here, just getting in one meaty hit after another. Yeah. I like how Razo kind of moved around a little bit and realized Sugar wasn't going to approach him, just ran back and pulled the turn up. Right. Um, great way of kind of uh, just sort of forcing Sugar to approach, right. just forcing him to engage him. And oh. yeah, calling that jump, I uh, Peach, uh, Peaches and Daisies go for that read all the time. I don't know why it works. I mean, it, it works because if you see a Peach jumping at you, you're afraid they're gonna you're, you're gonna get grabbed because they conditioned you that like you don't want to get grabbed at low percent and so what happens is that when you see a peach like kind of jump at you like aggressively like to the low to the ground like that right. you know you expect like oh they're gonna tomahawk grab me let me jump out of the way to avoid it and they go for the double jump fair and then they, they hit you out of there yeah i'm just i'm always surprised how often it works because you think people would catch on <laughs> I mean, Peach is one of those characters where, like, even if you catch it once, like, who's not to say she'll mix it up again next time? And, you know, it's all, all you need is just one mix-up for it to kill. Okay, we're going to the last stock here. Ooh, I love that. You know, trying to get them with the forward smash, but Yoshi with a little bit too much aerial drift to avoid it, barely. One of the things Razo is really good at is these ba uh, bears out of shield. He's so fast with them. And again, how is he going to catch the landing? And you know what? That's the other thing. The B reverse is such a good landing tool for Yoshi because it changes up how he lands and how he goes and flows with the momentum. There's the egg. There's the other egg. He wanted the double jump uh, neutral B, but unfortunately, he's not going to get enough hype for it and he's going to miss his target. Yeah, so I like how Sugar is kind of, is, is uh, going, trying to land or trying to go above Brazo, because normally that's just a terrible position being above Peach, but Yoshi has that aerial drift that, that makes it so uh, it's really hard for Razo to to chase where Sugar decides to go. Right. Oh, catches the rolling with the jab. And yet again, I love oh, the attempt there, yeah. Because you know, like, okay, he rolled last time, he got punished for that. He's all going to neutral get up, so let me just read in with the up smash. And just a little bit too late to pull the trigger on that, but it's hard to punish that. Right. And again, both players have to be super careful about how about the approach because, you no, know, one strong hit can lead to a confirm, oh, but the turnip He does will. do a regular turnip? No, no, he's gonna make it back. Yep. Okay. That's why you yeah, always save your double jump. That is jump. Yep. And yet again, yeah, see he's that, dead now. See, you're asking me, like, why do people jump in that yeah, situation? It's because of that situation right there. I know, but there he was at 190, so. I mean, yeah. it's a 50-50. Are they going to rush in and grab me, or are they going to double jump fair, you know? And but it won't kill you, but, well, yeah. I mean, you don't, the other thing is I think people are afraid of getting knocked off stage against Peach right. because she's just so oppressive with those turn-ups. Yeah. And Peach loves her explosive combos. You know, like, she's not going to rush at you without a plan in mind. You know? She's going to be like, okay, I'm going to do X, Y, Z. You clearly haven't played my Peach. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Like, I, f I feel like good Peaches, they they go in with, like, a contingency of, like, I'm going to do this, and depending on what they do, I'm going to react a certain way, you know? Uh -huh. And something like, okay, I'm going to do this, 
and if I get the kill confirmed, great. I got it. I, I get it. If he goes for something else, then I'll just stop what I'm doing and then just react to whatever he does. You know? And you see it with how he's able to get all these strings. You know, he, he realizes that, okay, I can get all these nares on shields, or I can get these single hits in, but I don't have anything to further extend the combo of that. So let me stay in shield and react to what he does. And you see, Sugar is just not able to get a solid hit in because Rosal's just reacting to whatever he does. And see, he's waiting for something and be like, okay, can I get in an up air of this? No, not really. So let, let's wait to see what he does after he lands. You know? Yeah, Yoshi is a character that can really struggle to get in on you uh, sometimes. And Peach is a great character <laughs> keeping you out. Uh, uh, Yoshi in particular, because of the reasons we discussed before, just catching Yoshi's drift and all those things. So, I mean, this match, this looks up, this looks hard for sure. And I love the use of the Toad right there because he knows that, like, okay, he's gonna throw an egg probably. If it hits it and I get a, I get a hitbox out, that's like a long lasting hitbox, maybe double jumps into it, then either he double jumps and armor through it and then whatever, like I, I get damage. But if it doesn't and it hits him, he's dead. And that's exactly what happened. Yeah, I, so I, I'd like to see some more of those run up F tilts from, from Sugar. Uh, unfortunately, that one didn't work for him when he didn't get punished. I think he can catch some of it. Ooh. Uh, some of Ra Razo's uh, floats, right? Uh, and then it also leads into a lot of combos that Yoshi can do. Well, just up there, I guess. Uh, but yeah, again, this is looking very rough for Sugar. All right, Sugar getting the up tilt and the okay. up B's up out of B. yeah. Yet again, the it does read the first input that you do. So if you are yes. mashing out of it, like depending on how you mash, like you could buffer an option by accident. Right, uh, yeah, so Razo may be just kind of mashing the, the control stick. Uh, yeah, usually want, you want to do the circle mash when you get the egg. Unless, of course, you get uh, eaten off stage and then you could just die. I mean, it, it depends on the situation, you know? Because Yoshi's can always wait it out and see, like, what you, what you do. Are you mashing or are you not mashing? What can I get if you do mash, etc., etc. Okay, so we saw some combos come out from Sugar saying this game is not quite over yet. I mean, he's gonna have a lot of work to climb up if he wants to take the stock lead, or even like make it not even a lead, just take it, bring it back to even. Yoshi does have strong kill power. Uh, he just needs to find an opening with an up smash or or, or something like that. And uh, but he's already taken a lot of damage at this point. Oh, it carried the down beat. Right. And I love the the fact that he ran off stage because he knows that like if I hold shield. I won't be able to punish it. It's going to do a whole lot of steel damage. Let me wait for it to land completely, and then I'll try to punish the landing afterwards. But unfortunately, the little stars afterwards does provide a little bit of defense, but not enough defense oh, to nice. stop this Peach from yeah. edgeguarding him. Oh, and she went for the... Yep. Okay, you know a Peach is in your head when they get you with the side B read right. in the air. And then now he has to worry about the Siren. Now he can't even hold shield on the ground. Oh, it's Coast Sword anyway, though. All right. And you see how he did counter there? He knew that he didn't want to press shield because if he pressed shield and he threw the Saturn then, that would have broken his shield. So, yet again, yeah, it's kind really of one of those things where, like, Mr. Saturn, like, conditions oh, you not to shield. So much damage coming out for, from Trigger. This, this could be what he needs to turn this around. Right. Oh, oh and not fair. Yep. Yeah. And again, a lot of range on that fair and pretty much enough range to outspace the grab. So now we'll have Charlie the King versus Komei.